My first bit of tech that I'm curious about right now, and it's not something that I have or can really get started with, is 3D printing. Ah, yes. See, 3D printers to me have for the longest time been this kind of untouchable tech. Mm -hmm. And I've looked at them and I've kind of kept an eye on them and, and wondered about them, but it seems so sci-fi to an old school tech guy like me to be able to yeah. 3D print tools and 3D print things. It just sounds like something out of sci-fi from yeah. when we were kids, but it's a real tech now. Mm -hmm. And the price has come way <sighs> down, way down to the point of unreasonable. And I'll talk about that a little bit. But what really has pushed me over the top is seeing how some of my friends who are into 3D printing technology are able to do just that. Come up with an idea and realize it and manufacture it. Yep. And a perfect example is right here at the studio. Now, Jeff, you can see, those at home can't see, but I've got all the wires just going into a piece of PVC or yes. a piece of pipe. Yep. And it goes through a hole in the wall and it's incredibly makeshift and it's terrible. Right. So I started talking uh, with, with Bo Lucknowski from Ameridroid because yep. I knew that Bo does 3D printing and he's into that kind of thing. And he's he, like my go-to guy. And, and he takes the time to, to chat with me about it. And I appreciate that. And I said, like, what could I do with this situation where I've got a, a, a wall that's like this thick and it's just drywall and I've drilled a hole in it, but now I've got a piece of pipe going through and it looks terrible and it's not, it, it totally looks makeshift. Right. And I can't get a contractor in to, to build something. And if I did, it's going to cost $200, if not more, just to have a proper conduit put right. in, which is crazy when you think about that. It's, it's a lot of money. And so Bo and I got talking about it and, and, and working on some ideas and kind of back and forth. And he came up with a design for something that he's calling Easy Portal. And this is basically, if you can picture two pieces of pipe that are each about this long, and they screw into one another. Okay. But they have a flange on both sides. So with, and he designed this and he's actually printed one and I'm, and I'm hoping to receive one soon. I think it's in the mail, but you put one piece on one side, one piece on the other side. And, you know, I guess I'll get somebody on the other side to twist on that side. Right. And you twist it together and it screws in together and it sits flush and it's tight and it's a perfect conduit with a nice little flange. Wow. Beautiful. So he calls it Easy Portal. You can actually see it on Ameridroid.com and uh, mm. just do a quick search for Easy Portal. And, and that to me, Jeff, made me think, okay, so if I just, if I could do that instead of paying $200 to a contractor to build a proper portal, something through the wall, that starts to make a little bit of sense, but right. it's still beyond me. It's still well beyond me. Now he, he would have more of a a robust 3D printer. It wouldn't be like a little tabletop unit, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I asked him what kind of printers he's using and he's got an Ender 3. Oh, okay. He's got, um, you know, the, the standard kind of, you know, what we would call a consumer 3D printer. And he's yeah. got, uh, he's got some that are a little higher end as well. Hmm. A little higher end. <laughs> but I was like, no, it's way higher end. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm still learning the industry. It prints but... human beings. <laughs> <laughs> So, and, and that's coming. <laughs> well, we could 3D print body parts now. <laughs> yeah. So here, here's where my thought processes go, Jeff, is I start to look at this wall and, and so we need to get the signage done. Right. And so I've got a sign person who's telling me $300 to do the sign. So you can think you can 3D print the Cat5 logo. I start to think that. I start mm. to think, okay, could I? And then you start to look at 3D printers and you realize that, you know, for $500, you can get a high end, like a decent consumer right. 3D printer. And that's on the high end. You can get them for 300. That's true. I keep looking at them on yeah. different online portals like Amazon and whatnot. And uh, it's on my frivolous spending list because yes, I, that's me too. Uh, to me, a th like a 3D printer, I don't think I have a legitimate need for at home. Exactly. But at the same time, I've thought about getting a 3D printer for the sake of printing Lego pieces. Mm. I don't know if that's even a copyright thing. But, Probably. But a lot of times... My, <laughs> I've seen them on Thingiverse. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, my but like every once in a while, my kids will break a brick. Okay, and it's like, oh, and they cost a lot of money. <laughs> it's insane. And I'm like, if I could just print that, that you know, that's a pretty basic use case. But for me, I'm thinking like, can I offset expense? Hmm. by printing something myself. Can I justify the expense of a 3D printer and learn and the time that it takes to learn how to do it in such a way that I'm actually saving money? I the, you, the signage yeah. starts to make it look that way. I bet you, you probably could. And now, what, okay, for the life of me, I'm blanking on the name of the unit, but there's a, a, a tabletop 3D printer that I was looking at. There are so many, Jeff. A These week, days, a there week are so ago. many. But not only is it a 3D printer, mm -hmm. it's also a laser engraver. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. <laughs> and there was something else it did. And now was, you're getting serious. And I was like, but aren't those thousands? It was it was twenty nine. Yeah, it was yeah. twenty nine ninety nine. So and I was like, oh, I could come up with something <laughs> for that. <laughs> so maybe what I what I would look at then in that case is I would say, okay, would would I start with something that's three hundred and and see how I do and see if I can offset cost which is virtually making money and or, then and then upgrade if i need to or if i can justify that or i think you should just say hey if somebody buys you that unit you'll go through labor with me yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> robbie's like shh quiet shh. Yeah. no that's all on you jeff that's right um i i looked at uh, a one u um mounting system uh, because I want to rack mount some single board computers. Right. And you're looking a couple hundred bucks yeah. for a little server case to be able to put my single board computers on the server rack. And then I got onto Thingiverse and I started looking and, and I could print one. Mm -hmm. And so my approach has been, so I haven't bought a 3D printer. I don't have one, but I decided, okay, I'm going to see if, because this is, this is what I fall into. I'll buy things thinking that Oh yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to it's going to offset my cost and blah blah blah. But then I find that the learning curve is too high. So yes. what I've been doing is I've been going on to tinkercad.com and I've been doing my first designs. Oh, okay. And so I actually have four designs already up including the category 5 logo. Oh nice. Okay. On on my uh, I've got a Thingiverse account, Bald Nerd. Mhm. Mm so you can see the designs including a little case for a Raspberry Pi to be able to mount it on mm -hmm. my one, uh, one U server rack. 19 inch server rack. So, so I'm doing the designs first to see how much, how onerous it is, right. figure out, can I, can I actually do this? And then I can start to look at, okay, if the sign is going to be 300, how much would it cost to print? Does it have that kind of, um, uh, estimator online when you come up yeah. with a design? Yeah. You okay. Can, in, in, uh, in the software, you can, you can actually see, uh, how long it's going to take and how much, uh, how much, uh, filament it's going to use. Hmm. So there are, are all those things. So uh, I'm starting to look at that and I'm really, really curious. And I, I'd love to know what you think. And, and, you know, is there a really, va like, are we at that point where the price has come down far enough on 3D printers that it now makes sense to have one right. in, you know, in the home, in the, in the office, because you can do stuff now that is like, when I have ideas, you can just 3D print them. Right. I have ideas. Oh, oh, I have ideas. Be 3D printed, though. Comment below what ideas do you have and what do you think?